Hello everyone, this is the Fans Politics Asia and this is the summary for the day of 452 for the 21st of May. Uh, as usual, for those uh, watching on YouTube, uh, to get early access to this SIPRAP, uh, do become a DPA Sergeant, Officer or General uh, in Patreon, Locals, Boosty or Coffee.com and uh, information below in the description below. And let's start off with the biggest statement is actually the redrawal of the Wagner private military contractors from the front line or the special military operation in Ukraine, according to a uh, transcribed uh, in, uh, speech from uh, Prigozhin, the boss of the Wagner private military contractors. Uh, they say that as by June the 1st, there will be no Wagner private military contractor fighters in Ukraine. Uh, I mean, as in on the front line at all as the Wagner group will go and undergo reorganization, rearmament and uh, additional training according to uh, Prigozhin. And uh, there is also additional information saying that uh, they are entire, they are totally not at Kromove, they are not attacking Kromove, they are not going to attack Ivanovsky, Ivanovsky and uh, they are going to give up all their positions to the Russian military and they will be leaving the combat zone uh, May 25th. That means they have three days, and I think these three days, they will be handing over their task to the Russian military, helping to prepare a defensive line, pack up their stuff, and on May 25th, they will be uh, leaving the front line. And uh, so the, so uh, as he also addressed about Kromove because uh, there is Ukrainian uh, sources saying that the, the Wagner group is attacking Kromove, so, which is why he said we will not uh, storm Kromove. That is the task of the Ministry of Defense as per what he said. And, um, and he also added that uh, any information about Wagner fighting uh, will be fake uh, in the next two months. So unless something changed, uh, Prigozhin is going to let people know through his uh, Telegram channel uh, so basically, he's already telling people that at least for two months, the Wagner private military contractors will not be in the front line. That means they're going to spend the next two months uh, training new recruits, uh, strengthening, strengthening their strength and uh, getting new equipment and everything. So that's uh, the Wagner group. And uh, the so the another big thing is actually an attack. The Ukrainians have launched a missile strike on uh, the Berdyansk airport. Uh, so the Berdyansk, Berdyansk is actually this port uh, town uh, of city, just uh, very near to Mariupol, and uh, the attack is by the British uh, shadow, Storm Shadow cruise missile. Uh, according to the Russian sources, pro-Russian sources, they are saying that uh, it did not actually uh, incur any kind of uh, serious damage to uh, on anything. Probably you no. Know, it missed their targets perhaps or maybe it's just russian propaganda to say that uh, nothing was hit and uh moving on to, let's go through the front line uh we have uh nothing at the Kherson uh front or the southern front o over the zaporizhia line uh, we have actually no reports uh of any sort and i'm uh, moving into the donets front the only fighting here or reports is mainly at marinka so uh fighting is reported at marinka according to the Ukrainian Defense Ministry. Uh, as per usually, we have a lot of Russian uh, Russian reports of shelling, right? Uh, because usually uh, they, they, they announce their report at 12 noon, uh, Moscow time or Ukraine time. And yesterday's SIPREP or has already covered uh, the yesterday's uh, SIPREP. So today's Russian SIPREP has not come out yet, which is why uh, there is no shelling report. Uh, for this Sibra. And uh, over at the ADFK front, uh, we, we have uh, the Russians at continue to attack uh, against ADFK, fighting towards uh, in the north of Krasnohorivka and Pervomaisky. The the information is all coming from the Ukrainian Defense Ministry uh, at Pervomaisky, uh, ADFK. Uh, as usual, the Ukrainian Defense Ministry do not really talk about you know, uh, what is the fighting at ADFK. And uh, for and uh, the the screen here, you can see this is actually some of some footage of the fighting. Uh, clearly, I'm not going to show it very clearly because uh, yeah, YouTube don't like it. Uh, in the north of Krasnohorivka, it's a bit confusing. Uh, Deep State UA say that uh, the Ukrainians managed to capture some position. Uh, in the north of Krasnohorivka, however, uh, Ryba reported that the Russians actually expanded their zone of control. So, 
nobody knows what exactly happening and um so that's all from the adf car front and moving on to, from uh, the adf car front we move into the bakmut front at the bakmut front uh there is fighting reporter at Kromove, according to raiba uh they say that the there's episodic battles taking place in Kromove area in the and in the direction of krasny which is actually ivaniske and uh according to ukrainian defense ministry basically they say that uh the the russians are attacking in this position however uh information coming from rv Co uh voing uh is saying that the ukrainians are the one that is on the offensive they say that uh, the ukrainians are attacking uh, in the area of klishievka or south of ivaniske with with the attack in the forest region here and here and then also at the canal region here the the russian forces is sending reinforcement into this area here to meet the attack so far uh no significant change in terms of the front line but uh the battle is still ongoing and uh within the bakhmut city uh it, the deep state ua the pro ukrainian sources have updated their mapping and uh of significant is that they have acknowledged all the captures except at the very corner they the ukrainian sources still uh, claim that they have lost this area this uh car this cargo depot region but they claim that they still have control over all these all these low-lying buildings as well as uh this uh it looks like a shopping mall here at the corner and it's sort of weird to to think that the russians will be here and then not be able to control this area here it's kind of weird and to claim that they still have control over here yeah i mean i'm not sure maybe they just refuse to acknowledge that they have lost the city but of course maybe who knows maybe the rush the ukrainians we did are still here and they are continuing to send a uh, reinforcement into this corner here to continue to fight back and uh maybe they can reconquer no bakhmut yeah and mo moving on to, uh from this corner uh there is fighting reported uh towards Krykorivka according to the Ukrainian Defense Ministry and uh so but I don't think this is uh I'm not sure no to be honest to be honest I'm not sure because uh the past few weeks uh at least the past two weeks have made me doubt what the Ukrainian Defense Ministry say again uh after I started to trust them and uh moving into the Sivas front uh, we have fighting reported towards Ivan Ivano Darivka according to the ukrainian defense ministry i haven't seen this name or in the reports for so long i don't even know where it is it's been so long that we have seen this re being reported so there is a attack towards ivano darivka and i believe it's coming from the south of spurney so and i that makes me question if uh spurney has been captured by the russian forces because we do have some information about the ukraine the russians taking this place here and uh, this basically this this is probably quite flattened there is a, U a ukrainian uh, military base here so at spurney which actually uh why it's a bit hard to capture spurney for the russian forces we do know that previously there's uh, fighting in the north and in the south and uh, they have captured this area but no idea what's happening there so that's all from uh, the civil front and moving into the crimea front uh, we have no reports because there is no russian military uh no sibrap uh, because the sibrap was already mentioned yesterday two days one is not out yet and uh and moving into the Sviatove front we have nothing at the Sviatove front to report on and um uh, and over at the kupians front the ukrainian defense ministry continue to report that the russians are attacking in the masutivka region according to this report here so they say it's unsuccessful and this is all from the kupians front and uh generally speaking i i it felt it felt like you know the entire war has suddenly slowed down with the russians capture of bakhmut and uh and i'm not sure why there is this huge huge seeming delay in terms of what what the ukrainians are going to do because they do have the offensive force now they should have initiative the russians are holding back waiting for the ukrainians to do something so the the rumors as per mentioned yesterday about the possible injury of Zalushny might be true Zelensky is not around Sersky is just the commander of the land army it's a bit hard to tell uh, exactly 
uh, what's the situation here. I will talk. I will probably create one more video uh, on the main channel and uh, to talk further about uh, Zabishni. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Do press the like button, subscribe button if you are watching on YouTube. And uh, nice quote. And I'll see you in the next update.